Independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy said a worm ate part of his brain. The revelation, first reported by the New York Times, came during a 2012 deposition as part of his divorce proceedings from his second wife. Kennedy said he began experiencing memory loss and mental fogginess in 2010. He eventually consulted with doctors who found a dark spot on his brain during a scan. At first, doctors believed he had a tumor, but one doctor had a different diagnosis, a dead parasite in his head. Kennedy stated the abnormality in his scans was caused by a worm that got into his brain and ate a portion of it and then died. Kennedy, like President Biden and former President Trump, has declined to release his medical records. And it's unclear what kind of parasite died in his brain. He speculates he got the parasite from a trip to South Asia. Around the same time, Kennedy said he was suffering from mercury poisoning due to his diet heavy in tuna and perch, both known to carry high levels of mercury. He claimed he had levels of mercury 10 times higher than the recommended EPA levels, something some medical experts say is the more likely cause of Kennedy's memory loss and brain fog. Regarding the brain parasite, infectious disease experts and neurosurgeons told The Times, based on Kennedy's descriptions, it was likely a pork tapeworm larva. Tapeworms usually reside in the stomach and intestines, but the Mayo Clinic notes it's possible for tapeworms to migrate out of human intestines, as a case in India shows. In 2019, a teenager died after being infected with tapeworms after the parasite formed cyst in his brain. The brain infection is known as neurocystic sarcosis and results in around 2,000 hospitalizations a year in the U.S. An expert on parasites at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln says once the worm is in the brain, cells calcify around it, which can mimic a tumor on brain scans. The calcification likely remains in the brain forever. Doctors concluded Kennedy's cyst contained the remains of the parasite. He has had it monitored and said there are no changes. A University of Texas professor of infectious diseases said it is unlikely a parasite would eat part of Kennedy's brain. They typically survive on nutrients in the body. He did say some tapeworm larvae can live in the brain for years without causing issues. Others can cause death, inflammation, seizures, headaches, and dizziness. Kennedy says he has since recovered from the mercury poisoning after undergoing treatment and has no lingering symptoms of memory loss or mental fogginess. RFK has had other health issues from heart problems to hepatitis C. Asked by the Times if it could impact his capacity to be president, his campaign spokesperson said that is a hilarious suggestion given the competition. For more stories about the 2024 presidential election, download the Straight Arrow News app or go to our website at san.com.